ladies and gentlemen. Uh, certainly good to be with you again. And um, as Simon said, this is my last presentation. I think it's, you know, we've covered all the basics. Uh, go through all the webinars we've done, plus some of what some of the other presenters have done in just one lap. Uh, certainly there is no reason for you to uh, go off and pay for a course somewhere else. Um, you have all the skills and all the knowledge um, and you can obtain it from those webinars. Okay, with that, let's fire off with pivot points. Um, the reason I've not spoken about pivot points much in my presentations before is because I don't use them as they, as they are supposed to be. Um, Muted. Pivot points have quite a big following um, in the world of trading um, and it's quite a science in its own right. Um, so there are those who follow it as an exclusive means of um, a, a trading strategy and they develop their strategies around it. Um, and for the purists, they will not take anybody else's pivot point level, they insist on creating their own. Um, when you are trading Forex, that's quite a challenge um, because pivot points work on previous days, high, low, open or close calculations. Um, and in the Forex market, that's a very ambiguous sort of um, range because the market in reality does not close. So, you know, it makes it a lot more difficult and there are differences in calculations as to what traders determine the pivot points are. Um, when you are trading um, derivatives and the stock market, um, certainly it's more clear cut. Um, it's very easy then to make your own um, pivot point uh, calculations. Um, and just a note on that for those of you who do trade stocks um, and those sort of uh, derivatives that's got a specific opening and closing for the day and then the market's closed until it opens the next day. Um, for those type of markets, it is better or advisable to use weekly or monthly pivot points instead of the previous day's range, all right? Um, and you will see why when we move on. Um, okay, first I'm going to start with the pros of pivot points, pros and cons, but we'll deal with the pros first. There are many followers to, to pivot points, okay? This is a, a, a pivot point started, oof, Years, many, many years ago, in, in, in the, uh, with the, the original day traders, uh, the Chicago Exchange and uh, all those exchanges where the guys actually stood on the floor. You've seen the pictures in the movies where these guys throw their little yellow tags around and it's absolute chaos. Um, those are day traders and they essentially use pivot points to, to, to determine the range they're going to trade in that day. All right, so it's got a, quite a long history. It's proven itself to to um, to work over the years, and it's gained a lot of followers. So, and as it gains more followers, it really becomes a self-fulfilling. Uh, as more people follow it, uh, the market becomes more adherent to those levels. All right, so those are definitely a pro. Um, the levels are respected by market, as I've mentioned. The pivot point range for your day does not change. Once it's calculated, it's, it's, it's calculated on the previous day range. That cannot be flexible. Um, it gives you a very definite range in which to trade in, um, especially for those of you who want to set a trade to trigger at the level and set it and forget it, walk away from your computer. The trade will trigger at that buy or sell point and you can pre set your stop loss. So from that point of view, um, it, it's great. Um, unlike moving averages, that's sort of changing as, as the market moves. All right, the other, the really big ish, um, benefit of, of, of pivot points is there's a lot of 
uh, pivot point levels available online free. All right, you have to be a bit more discerning um, when you use the online um, facilities that are offered freely. Um, and my advice to you is to, if you decide on an online user or online supplier uh, levels, please just check their levels for a few a week or two or more, and make sure that their levels are in line. All right. Um, because some of these online calculators are, are seriously dodgy um, and they are done by people who simply are trying to attract advertising money to their website and their calculation might not actually hold true for, uh, uh, you know, um, as it's supposed to. All right. The cons. Yes, we've said it's got many followers. That's, that, is a, that is a pro, but it's also a con. Because what happens in the market is that institutional traders know exactly at which level they can counter trade or that they can trade it. Um, and for them to to in order for their trade to be filled, they need a whole heap of of money to buy against. And if they've got a whole range of um, retail traders, that's you and me, all going long or short at a certain level, they get their trade filled at that level, all right? So I call it a suck-in zone. Um, the levels are very respected by market, um, makes it very predictable, open to manipulation. Do be careful of that. And I have, an, I have a solution for you down the, down the line, so please don't switch off and run off. Um, we're going to use that very, these pros and cons to our benefit as we move through this, uh, this presentation. All right. The fact that it doesn't change once calculated is also a con in that some days the market really hits a level and it runs in a direction and it runs out of the range of the pivot points. And for those who are purists in pivot points are out of the trade, all right, they come back tomorrow. Um, and it doesn't even give you an option to trade. Um, whereas ideally you would like to trade as often as possible in the market. All right. so. Um, that's also a con. With pivot points, but there are so many different types of pivot points. All right, and we're going to cover four or five. I'll name four or five. We'll look a little bit in depth into two or three of them. But that is the biggest problem in that there's variations in those levels. All right. Um, it's difficult to accurately calculate forex in forex due to the four-hour trading. I've covered that before I got to the slide. All right. Um, now we deal with standard pivot points. Okay. It's a five-point system. I'm going to talk very quickly through this because you guys can come back to this presentation and you can get your head around the the, the, the actual formula. So we're not going to go into depth into the formulas because I've got an easier solution for you down the line. The high, the low, the close of the previous day. Support S1 and S2. Now, don't get stressed about oh, where where was support and uh, as calculatable according to the pivot point formula. All right, and the same with resistance. Support is floors, the floor that you stand on. Market's going to bounce off the floor, up like a rubber ball, and resistance is the overhead support, is the the ceilings. All right, um, and then the actual pivot point. And opening is the opening of the, the the range. That is the calculation. All right, guys. I'm not going to dwell on this. You can come back to it in your own in your own time. But you can see very clearly that you can calculate R2, you can calculate R1, you can calculate S1, S2, um, and there is the pivot point itself. It gives you the, the point that you start with. All right. Okay, here's a here's a, a quite an important rule for for pivot points. It does not mean it's absolutely the fast, hard and fast rule. Rules are made to be broken if you can find a creative way that can give you a benefit in the market. All right, but the general rules are anything below 15 minute charts, up to 15 minute charts, you do your pivot calc pivot points 
range is based on the previous day's range. So the, the today's pivot points are based on the previous day's range. Between 15 minutes and one hour charts, if that's where you're going to trade, you want a better level to trade at. You use the previous week's range, all right? Because the the, the larger the time frame that's being used as a calculus, the stronger the levels are. Okay, and then four hour to daily charts, you use the previous month's range. All right. If there's any questions, guys, at this point onwards, please interrupt and we'll deal with the questions as we go. Okay, the next deviation we get off standard pivot points is the Fibonacci pivot points. They've got extra levels. You've got an S3 and an R3, and they are worked out slightly differently. Um, but don't break your head on, 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 these, calcu on these formulas, okay? Um, I'm going to give you a shortcut to all of that. All right, but just to understand that they're different and that those levels, the way they are calculated, are different to the standard point level. So if you put standard point levels, pivot point levels on your chart, and you're going to go and do this Fibonacci pivot point levels, you're going to see there's a slight variation on the S1 and S2 and R1 and R2, all right? Um, and that gives you a little bit of ambiguity into where the market's going to turn. Then there's the DeMarc pivot points. Um, quite a big uh, or an important um, set of pivot points that are quite often used by the larger traders. Um, in that it gives you a little bit more live analysis in that it uses the current days um, range as well. Okay, and the pivot point depends on the relationship between the close and the open. All right, so it's again slightly different, and again the levels are going to be different to the standard and the Fibonacci um, pivot points. Do you understand that? All right. There's an anomaly in the market, or well, no, anomaly is not the right word. Um, the Camarilla has really been pumped out there. If you do an internet search, there's tons and tons and tons of calculators and websites that's going to offer you Camarilla. Um, that is a complete um, fraudulent marketing on their behalf. Um, this was 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 the system was. Um, designed by a trader and he is only given that authority to his own trading company surefirething.com all right and they charge a fee for that monthly for the for you to, in order to be able to use their the their Camarilla calculator but that is the only true calcul Camarilla cal calculator out there anything else is guesstimates by traders to get as close to the original Camarilla formula as possible, but they don't know what the Camarilla formula is, okay? So there are deviations. Please be careful on that. However, having said that, the Camarilla um, pivot points are amazing in the markets, all right? So if, you, if you're taking your trading seriously, um, it might be worth spending the, the, the couple of dollars every month to have access to the Camarilla calculator and get their levels from them um, it will certainly help you. There's also the WIDI pivot point. Um, a lot of the online calculators will give you the WIDI um, for free. There are some variations in the WIDI uh, from site to site, but uh, this is the as true to the WIDI as I could get. Um, it's not. I, I don't particularly use it. Um, I, as you know, I've got a uh, uh, a sort of a, a real liking to Fibonacci, so I use the standard point um, pivot point uh, um, calculations or levels, and I use the Fibonacci levels quite a lot. Um, that doesn't mean you can you cannot use these others, and I'll deal with that in a moment when we get there. Okay, what I have these are the pivot point calculators that you can get online for free um, and they work quite well. Um, uh, guys, when you download this PowerPoint presentation, you could click on those uh, links and they will take you straight to those websites. So don't worry about writing it down. Um, that will give you pivot point calculators custom for how you want it, all right? But it doesn't end there. Um, for me, I like, uh, and, and 
I've always said you need to be able to do your own um, technical analysis. You need to understand how to draw the lines um, and don't take anybody else's word for it. I stand by that absolutely. But when it comes to pivot points, I like to just get the levels online because it's quite a cumbersome a bunch of calculations to do and you might not be accurate. Even then, across a number of websites that give you pivot point levels, there are even their uh, variations, all right? Um, so you, I like to just get a, a, a pivot point levels off, off the internet um, and put those onto my charts and see if the market turns somewhere near them. Those of you who know my trading understand that I use um, a little strategy and I apply that to all these levels. I just want levels that the market's going to 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 uh, bounce at or make a change at. All right, however long or short term that is. For probably the best and most accurate pivot point levels out there, Ducas Copy, the Swiss trading house. You can go online to this page and they would give you standard pivots, they will give you the Woody and they'll give you Fibonacci. Um, and as you can see there, you can select Euro, Dollar, you can select any currency you like and you get extensive um, pivot point calculations. And this is the reason why I say you do not need to know the formulas and go and try and figure it all out yourself. All right? um, Ducas copy is probably one of the best out there. Um, these guys are super hot as a trading house um, and as a broker. Um, they deal with expensive clients, guys who've got lots of money um, and really you can trust their calculations. All right. The next one um, is Action Forex. Um, certainly quite comprehensive as well in that as you can see the the sentences in blue there, the Fibonacci pivots, Camarilla, Woody, DeMarks. You can click on those when once you're at that um, website address and you can go to the hourly, four hourly, daily, weekly, monthly pivots for any currency you like in any one of those um, different pivot point um, denominations, if you want to call it that. All right, so and you could really put these in. Uh, the monthly and the weekly and the dailies onto your charts in that in that from that um, chart. Um, I find them pretty close to Ducas copy. Um, quite often they are identical. Now and then there's a slight variance, but it really is a couple of pips. And from that point of view, it's not going to matter too much in the market. Ladies and gentlemen, my answer to all the pros and the cons is as follows. Use your brave art strategy. Okay, The best way to use pivots. That strategy is out there. I'm sorry I'm punting it big time, but in my experience it's one of the nicest strategies to, tra to trade. Um, and why I say that you can trade it on pivot points and it doesn't matter which pivot point level or whether you take all of the different pivot point um, levels of all the different types of pivot points all you need is some indication where the market might uh, make a change or a, a bounce. And if you trade the Brave Art strategy really um, small, even if you go half a percent and you take it every time it bounces at those levels, because that's what the market's going to do. Because there's enough traders that follow pivot points of each one of the types, whether it's a Woody, Camarilla, DeMarc, or Standard, or Fibonacci, the market has a reaction at each one of those levels. And at each one of those levels, all you want to do is when you're a Brave Art Strategy trader is have a level that you can peg the, the Brave Art Strategy onto and say, give me an indication that the market's making a move here. And it doesn't have to be a 30, 70 point move. And that's the essential difference with pivot point traders or moving average traders is that they're trying to determine a trend and once they see that trend is moving 30, 40 points away, the trend is sort of established and then they get into the market and they have this massive stop loss and they're looking for a, an, another 30 to 70 to 100 plus point range to trade. Um, guys with the Braveheart strategy, 
all you need is little movements at levels. Okay, you just need a level that you suspect the market's going to bounce at, and you can find the Braveheart strategy on just one lap. Really get to learn it. Um, I stand by it, and put your pivot point levels to use with the Braveheart, Braveheart strategy. Ladies and gentlemen, that is my last bit of info I can give you. If there are any questions, I'm really happy to field them. Unmuted. Sorry, I need to click that button, then I really am back on the audio. Uh, folks, if you I just put a link to Braveheart in the uh, chat box. If you're watching the video, just go to justonelap.com, search Braveheart, you'll pop it up there. You can download it. If you've got any questions, drop them into the Q&A box. Uh, we've got some time for questions here. A couple come through. Um, Alban Mike is asking the Camarilla. He said, is it good uh, for FX? It's very good for FX. Um, but as I said, there's only that one site where you can get the true Camarilla um, uh, values. Um, there are lots of sites. If you do a search, there are lots that tell you Camarilla, calculate, whatever. But you guys are, are guessing the formula. Okay. And they might get it fairly close, but it's not Camarilla. The only site is the one I list in the surefire thing. A couple of folks are asking about, particularly with reference to Aussie, um, and the one question is, are there any any uh, uh, sort of default sites for Aussie? To my understanding, not. You'd have to go and, and either design a formula in Excel, which shouldn't be too hard, and, and crunch it yourself, um, or use something like the Pivot Point Calculator. Uh, dot com website and, and another question is is it starting to are we seeing a lot of pivot trading within the Aussie Owen Ergo to your your comment about self-fulfilling I got to say I'm seeing more of it I, I don't know if it's at the levels that we see in the FX markets but certainly I'm seeing more and more guys particularly on Twitter uh, talking about uh, the pivot points and trading the pivot points so it is certainly starting to happen um, even if, if if not as as prevalent in, in uh, 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 sort of the FX markets and the like. Um, yeah, maybe just, I certainly, in the years of when I used to, used to trade the FTSE and the Dow, there are pivot levels for the FTSE that are adhered to, and quite often the Aussie does follow the FTSE literally tick by tick. That's a good point, yeah. So, yeah, you could, but. Um, yeah, that's about all I can say. I can't venture more than that. It's been a couple of years since I've traded all. <laughs> um, a question coming through from EJ. Would you look to use pivot points on stocks um, more long-term as opposed to, to day trading? And not long-term as investing, but sort of longer-term trading. Owen, could you put them onto stocks as well? Oh, absolutely. And they do work quite well, even on the JSE stocks. Um, but as I said, you need to use the longer-term pivots. Don't use the previous day's range. Um, if you're a day trader, which you are when you're a stock trader, you need to use preferably monthly the previous month's um, pivot point range and not even the weekly range. Yeah, so go get um, that 20, last 22 days, open, uh, high lows, open closes, and use those for your pivot points. Question coming through, Owen, around Braveheart. Uh, could it be used for trading index? And just from my quick experience, I had a, a, a gander at it. And short answer is yes. My sense of it was that that if you've got a highly liquid market, uh, the, the, the Braveheart is going to work. Uh, Owen, you, you concur with that? Oh, absolutely. Um, look, I mean, it's based on candle patterns. Mm -hmm. um, and candlestick formations work across literally all markets. Um, uh, but yeah, it's got to be a liquid market. Um, and if, if it's a day market, um, even if it's something like stocks, you've got to be careful with the gaps in the market. You've got to be careful with the, the, the last half an hour of trading or the first half an hour of trading when the market really runs um, you know, at auction times. I, I, would, I, would, I haven't tried it for that, so I would, but, but just off the cuff, I would say, on the JSE, you have to really be careful um, and try and maybe even exclude the auction zone out of your timing when you use Braveheart. 
Gotcha. Question coming from Jane. She's talking about point and figure graphs, which I've got to be perfectly honest, is something which I hurt my head on about 15 or 20 years ago, never been back to. She said, could pivots work with point and figure? Owen, I'm not sure how up to speed you are with point and figure graphs. Sorry, Simon, you were breaking up quite a lot. Can you repeat that quickly? Uh, could we could we use pivots with point and figure graphs? Can you use pivots in point and figure? Sorry, you keep. No, I think up. we're 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 losing connection here. Uh, Jane, I'm going to get that, and I'll come and, and get back to you on that one. Uh, ladies and gents, we'll leave it there. We're losing Elwin, uh, which is not much use to us in that regard. Um, but my thanks to all of you uh, for your time this, this today. Uh, and uh, as I said, a thanks to Owen. This is his last presentation he's doing for us. We are uh, hugely appreciated of it. Um, to all out there, thanks very much. All the best. Cheers.